What do we mean by irrigation? The various ways of bringing water to land to help crops to grow on it is called irrigation. The ancient civilizations of Egypt, India, China, Assyria and Babylon depended heavily on irrigation which they developed from the natural overflow of the rivers. The irrigation systems of Italy started by the Romans rank among the best in the world. The canals and reservoirs built by the Moors in ancient Spain are still in use. Methods of Irrigation There are different methods of irrigation, some old, some new and quite innovative. The type of irrigation method used usually depends on two factors. One, the type of crop grown because different crops require different amounts of water and two, the amount of water available. No farmer can totally depend on the rains to irrigate his fields. So, let's have a look at the different methods of irrigation. Wells Wells are deep holes in the ground. People usually use a bucket and rope to draw water from them manually. At times, a pulley is attached, which makes the drawing of water much easier. Tube wells Tube wells are much deeper than ordinary wells. Electric pumps are used to draw water from them. In some places, diesel pumps are also used. Rich farmers can afford the cost of running tube wells. Canals Canals are dug from the rivers to carry water to land further away. Sometimes water is released from reservoirs of dams to the canals. This is now one of the most popular methods of irrigation. The government spends a huge amount of money in laying canals. The Indira Gandhi Canal in Rajasthan has enabled farmers to grow crops in an otherwise arid region.